Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. I'm going to be taking you inside my makeup kit and I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep for jobs. I have a photo shoot tomorrow where I'm actually doing hair and makeup so I'm going to be packing my hair kit and also my makeup kit as well. As I've said before, I normally don't do hair at all. I usually just can do like really basic curls and twists but other than that I can't really do braids or any other thing that's more complicated than that. <laughs> I don't do bridal hairstylists or anything. Usually I just help out photographers and do really basic hairstyling for photo shoots and that's about all I got. Everything's pretty much already packed but I just am gonna show you kind of like the sanitation process and I added a couple of different things to my kit today that I picked up from Walgreens. So I'm gonna be putting that in my kit as well and kind of just showing you guys how I pack. So here we go. Okay, so this is my makeup kit right here. As I said, I've already packed this previously and kind of already sanitized things after each job, but I haven't had a job since last week, so I just wanna make sure that I go through and re-sanitize everything just in case. So I'm gonna go in this top section first. I'm gonna take this out and this out. Um, and then what I wanna do is re-sanitize my eyeshadow palette because I just wanna make sure that everything is super clean. I'm taking my 70% isopropyl alcohol here and just spraying everything down here. And then the key with alcohol is you wanna make sure that it absorbs completely in the products before you shut the lid again. So as you can see, obviously all these shadows look dark and they look kind of wet still. So you wanna make sure that they kind of go back to their original state before you put the lid back on. And then once everything absorbs, then you are completely disinfected and sanitized. So that is a little tip with alcohol and powders. And then before I move on, I actually got these eyebrow razors. I've usually used eyebrow razors on just myself, but I decided to get these little guys for my clients. A lot of the times my clients will forget to tame their eyebrows, um, meaning that they'll forget to pluck them or wax them or something, especially with photo shoots, because with photo shoots, they're not as important as weddings. So people usually don't maintain their eyebrows and think about it for photo shoots. So I'm going to bring these along here just to kind of trim up any eyebrows and shape them if I need to. So I'm gonna add those to my kit and those will probably be a permanent addition to my kit. And I always wanna bring a face mask with me. And then I do have disposables here that I'm running out of. So I wanna make sure that I fill these before I go tomorrow. I have six people. So I just wanna make sure that I have as many things as possible. I'm gonna add more mascara spoolies here. I usually have a thing of all disposables that I keep backups of. So I just wanna make sure that I add in more spoolies and then I need more doe foot applicators too so I'll do that while I'm at this. Okay that one's done and then I'm adding more of these little cotton squares right here because I usually prep people's face with my cellar water and then this side right here is usually just full of these disposable wedges so I'm just going to add a little bit more I want to eventually switch over to just brushes, but I bought a lot of these guys in my last makeup haul. So I want to make sure that I go through all these before I switch to foundation brushes. But overall, I think I'm going to do all brushes from now on. This is the inside of my kit here. So I always want to make sure that I bring a towel with me. So the towel just sits on top there. Obviously that's already clean. Um, I'm probably just going to be wiping everything down. I have these little Kirkland disinfecting wipes here. So I'm basically just going to be wiping everything down. It's pretty boring. So I might speed this up a little bit. And for my eyebrow powders, I'm gonna be spraying these down with alcohol as well. I'm letting those dry. Same with these blushes.
Oh, another thing that I added to my kit is this little travel size makeup remover. It's for eyes um, because sometimes my cellar water does not remove waterproof mascara or eyeliner if my client still has it on. So I want to make sure that I have an actual eye makeup remover. Before I put my eyelashes back in here, I actually ended up getting the Ardell Dummy Wispies here. I just picked these up from Walgreens because I am running out of them completely or actually ran out of them. So I'm going to be adding them back into here and then you guys can kind of see how I cut them and then put them into this because I have a row specifically for them. They're probably one of my most popular um, bridal lashes. So I want to make sure that I definitely have them for tomorrow's photo shoot. I usually use them on people with a little bit smaller eyes. So I'm just going to open this container. And then yes, these are hair cutting scissors. I literally don't use regular scissors. So all I'm going to do is go right up under the package and just make sure that you don't cut the actual lashes. Yeah, so they look like this. The edge here. This is just very tricky. So make sure you're not rushing or anything because sometimes plastic parts can kind of fly all over the place when you're doing this. Yeah, so then they'll look like this, and then all you do is just stick them in here. And so then they just fit perfectly in there with the rest of their buddies there. So I'm just going to be doing this for the rest of them here, and I'm probably going to speed this up. So now they're all in there. And then just to let you guys know, these are the Kiss Lashes. Um, they're very, very natural. I use these on Mothers of the Bride. And then obviously my Ardell Dummy Wispies. These are the Friends Beauty number 415 lashes. And then I also have my AliExpress lashes. And these are the little faux mink ones that I usually put on brides. But yeah, those are the lashes that I'm carrying right now. I might have to stock up again here soon. Okay, so next I'm going on to the hair stuff. I'm actually just using this Beer Bradley little tote bag because I really honestly don't carry very much for hair. So this is going to be what my hair stuff is going to be in. For hair, I do carry two hot tools. I do carry um, the actual hot tools brand here. And I think this is a inch and a quarter maybe, like um, barrel here, I think. I'm not good at this. <laughs> but yeah, so I usually bring that. Um, I, it's just a wand. I'm really going to get one of the clipper here pretty soon so I can actually get like an actual curling iron. Um, and then I have this Chi straightener right here. This is usually what I use the majority of the time for curls, especially if people have shorter hair. And then that's usually what I use for longer hair. And I'm going to put those in here. Again, I don't pack very much for hair because I don't do it that often. And then I'm going to take this Zuka pouch here and then fill it up with all of the products that I use. Usually what I do is like bring you this Kenra Silkening Gloss. This is from the Platinum Collection. It smells like taffy. It smells so good. Any of the Kenra Platinum lines smells super, super good. This one lost its lid a while ago. I think I dropped it and the whole entire lid shattered. This is really good though, adding like more of hydration and a silky look to your hair. I mean, that's literally what it's for. I don't think it actually has any like hair benefits. It's just the appearance that it changes. And then this one's something that you definitely want to have. This is also from the Kenra Platinum Collection. I'm a huge fan of Kenra's hair products. This is the blow dry spray. This makes sure that if you have wet hair, then it blow dries it super, super quickly. Usually my clients obviously come with dry hair, though I don't have to really like blow dry or anything. But I use this for heat protection because it is a heat protectant. So that's usually what I use and prep people's hair with right before I go in with any of my hot tools. And then I use the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo here. This is literally my favorite dry shampoo. It doesn't leave any sort of white cast in your hair. It's really easy to work with. I usually spray this in people's roots if people have more oily hair. Sometimes people also forget to shower before photo shoots. So I just spray this in really quickly and you would never know. Next, I also keep the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Body Builder. This one basically is just for people that have thinner hair and I kind of want to build up a little bit of volume. I'll spray this at the root and like tease it a little bit and it gives it a little bit more of like a hole at the roots. So it looks like they have a little bit more hair and volume to their hair, which is really nice. And then this one doesn't fit in this bag, but um, this is the Chi Enviro 54 Hairspray. It's a firm hold hairspray. Want to make sure that you have firm hold. 
Um, no matter if you do weddings or if you do photo shoots, you want to make sure it stays for as long as possible just so you don't have to do touch-ups or just so the clients aren't worried about the hair falling throughout the day. This one's very good. I got this actually at um, like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I believe. It was very inexpensive, um, but this one's a really, really good brand to have. And then I also do bring this. This is actually a men's product, but it's called the American Crew Forming Cream. So it's just a thicker like putty sort of texture. I mean, it literally like is so thick it doesn't pop out or anything. But I use this for people with like flyaway hairs. I literally just take like a dab on my finger. It's a little bit sticky, so just don't take too much. But I usually will take like a pea size amount, rub it around my hands and kind of just like work my fingers through the tops of the hair and this will kind of tame flyaways. And then I'll go in with my firm hold hairspray over here and it literally sets them. So I usually do bring that with me too. And then I want to make sure that I have clips, like actual hair clips like these, like crocodile clips, um, to pin up people's hair so I can section it off. I also bring a little rat tail comb. This is like a little teasing comb just in case I need to have any sort of volume in people's hair. And then I do bring this comb as well. I don't bring a normal hairbrush because most of the time I literally just like work my fingers through. If you guys brush out hair too much, it almost has a harder time styling. So I just want to make sure it's kind of like as dirty as possible, if that makes sense, without being like actually dirty. So um, sometimes I'll use that dry shampoo just to add like some sort of like grip to people's hair if their hair isn't curling for some reason. Um, then I'll also use this comb here. This is usually for people with like super curly hair. Um, because you don't want to ever like actually use like a thicker brush and curl and like brush out hair that's curly like that just because it can tend to frizz really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fit all these things in here because sometimes they don't fit very nicely. Okay. Right. So yep, I just pack that with me. And then I just put that in here and then this guy goes on the side. So then everything just fits in there really nicely. But yeah, so that's my hair kit. Again, very basic because I don't do hair that often, but that's usually the stuff that I keep. Yeah, so that is it for this video. It was a very quick video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to kind of show you how I pack for jobs. I have a whole entire freelancing kit video if you guys really want to see an in-depth version of what products that I carry. So if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely check that video out on my channel. A couple of things have changed from that video because I made that video earlier this year. I think I maybe made it about three months into when I started my channel. So I have changed a couple of products out, but pretty much everything has stayed the same. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell, and that will notify you of every single video I upload. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye!